Hi, I'm Jonathan Price, CEO of Tech. At Tech, sustainability guides our approach to business, and we are focused on responsibly mining the metals and materials essential for the modern world and the global transition to a low carbon economy. Metals like copper and zinc are essential to decarbonization and electrification, and steelmaking coal is needed to produce the steel required for infrastructure such as rapid transit and renewable energy sources like wind and solar. As one of the world's lowest carbon intensity producers of copper, zinc and steelmaking coal, we are committed to further reducing the carbon footprint of our activities. Our goal is to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 across all aspects of our operations, including the ambition to achieve net zero scope three or value chain emissions by 2050. In support of this goal, we've set shorter term milestone objectives, including achieving net zero scope two emissions by 2025 and reducing the carbon intensity of our operations by 33% by 2030. Achieving our goals will mean finding alternative ways of moving and processing materials at our mines, using cleaner power sources, implementing efficiency improvements, and working with our customers and transportation providers to reduce emissions. Our board of directors and management team are actively involved in assessing climate-related risks and opportunities. And our climate change performance is integrated into our executive compensation. Incentive compensation for our senior officers is performance-based and includes several sustainability and carbon reduction performance indicators. We have a dedicated decarbonization team that is building the roadmap to achieve our climate goals. Led by Vice President of Decarbonization, Sapanta Dori, and reporting directly to me and our President and COO, Red Conga, the team works closely with each of our operations to implement decarbonization technologies in a cost-effective manner and without disruption to our operations. Our largest source of scope one emissions, or operational emissions, is from fuel consumed by our mobile fleet. And 70% of that is from our haul trucks. The majority of our scope two emissions, or our emissions related to the generation of purchased electricity, have historically been from our Carmen de Andacoyo and Cabrada Blanca operations, as the electricity supply in Chile was based on higher proportions of fossil fuels. However, we are reducing emissions from these sources by shifting towards renewable electricity, and we aim to be net zero in scope two emissions by 2025. Scope three emissions, or the emissions that arise from sources owned or controlled by other entities downstream of our value chain, come from the transportation and use of our products. To reduce our scope one, two, and three emissions across every part of our business, we are focused on four key areas. First, sourcing clean electricity for our operations, building on the work we've already done to secure renewable power sources. Second, electrifying our fleet and equipment, prioritizing our highest emitting source first, our haul trucks. Third, utilizing new technologies to reduce emissions from stationary combustion, such as carbon capture, utilization and storage at our trail metallurgical complex and the electrification of our coal dryers. And fourth, reducing GHG emissions within our value chain by establishing low emission supply chain corridors working with our customers and transportation providers. Our scope two emissions have been significantly reduced by shifting towards renewable electricity. About 96% of the power our operations use today comes from renewable, zero carbon sources. In Chile, we have already switched to renewable energy for 100% of the power needs at our Carmen de Andocoyo operations and over 50% of the power needs at our QB2 project in Northern Chile. This will result in a combined reduction of about 1 million tons of GEGs annually when QB2 is in operation. Securing the remaining 50% of renewable power for our QB2 project will make us carbon neutral for our electricity consumption across the entire portfolio, positioning us to meet our net zero scope to emissions goal by 2025. Diesel used for our mobile fleet 
represents our largest source of emissions at our operations. The majority of those emissions come from our large haul trucks. Through our agreement with Caterpillar, we are developing, piloting and deploying 30 zero emission large haul trucks at our steel making coal operations in British Columbia starting in 2027. We are also advancing trolley assist technology, a commercially available technology today which can be used to reduce the emissions for our existing diesel electric fleet and also assist in powering our future zero emission fleet. Trolley Assist provides electrical power directly to the wheels from overhead power lines, effectively bypassing the onboard diesel generator to reduce diesel consumption and emissions. We will adopt this technology for our highest fuel consumption haul routes, which occur when fully loaded haul trucks are going uphill. The Trolley Assist system has the potential to significantly reduce GHG emissions for our ultra-class mining haul trucks. And because it's a commercially available technology, we can deploy it in the next few years. There are several important benefits to using this technology. First, Trolley Assist will immediately reduce emissions of our diesel electric haul trucks. Second, it has the potential to improve the economics of mining through higher speed uphill haulage and charging capability for future zero emission haul trucks. Trucks on the trolley line travel twice as fast up ramp as trucks under diesel power, increasing truck productivity and potentially reducing the number of trucks required in the fleet. Third, because electrical power is a lower cost energy source than diesel, it will reduce the cost of operating haul trucks. And finally, it has the potential to reduce our environmental footprint by enabling more material to be placed in mined out areas, reducing the need for new disturbance. We are actively working with our operations to implement several trolley assist pilots across our steelmaking coal and copper sites to significantly reduce our haul truck emissions in the coming years. Across our operations, we are working to reduce our carbon emissions with innovative technologies. Our trail operations is one of the world's largest fully integrated zinc and lead smelting and refining complexes and is located in southern British Columbia. This integrated metallurgical complex produces critical refined minerals such as zinc for galvanizing steel, indium for smartphone screens, and germanium for fiber optic cables. And it is already one of the lowest carbon intensity producers of refined zinc in the world. We are continually evaluating technologies for the further reduction of emissions, such as the use of hydrogen and other alternative fuels. And we are building a carbon capture facility as part of a pilot project at our trail operations for those hard to abate emissions. This carbon capture utilization and storage or CCUS pilot project will expand our knowledge as we evaluate the best ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and achieve our net zero goals. This pilot is the first of its kind for any mining operation in Canada. It will capture CO2 from the acid plant flue gas at a rate of up to three tons per day. The pilot project will also evaluate options for the utilization or storage of the captured CO2 at trail operations. If successful, the trail carbon capture facility has the potential to capture over 100,000 tons of CO2 per year at trail operations, the equivalent emissions of more than 20,000 cars. Once captured, the carbon will be compressed into a liquid form, which can be used as an industrial gas or transported for permanent storage. Importantly, the Trail Carbon Capture Pilot also provides us with a technical platform to assist our steelmaking coal customers, as adoption of this technology in blast furnaces will materially reduce the carbon intensity of their steel production, helping us achieve our Scope 3 ambition. We have set a number of milestone goals to advance our ambition of achieving net zero scope three GHG emissions by 2050. And we are partnering with customers and transportation providers to establish low emission supply corridors for the transportation of our steel making coal. This will support a 40% reduction in shipping emission intensity by 2030 through the use of renewable fuels, ammonia, and low carbon fleet, where we have already taken action. 
we are partnering with Oldendorf carriers to use fuel-efficient bulk carriers for shipments of our steel-making coal. These bulk carriers maximize cargo size to optimize fuel and carbon efficiency. This initiative is expected to achieve a carbon emissions reduction of 30 to 40 percent, where we estimate carbon savings of up to 45,000 tons of CO2 per year. This is equivalent to removing nearly 10,000 passenger vehicles from the road. This is an exciting space where we are seeing significant additional opportunity to partner with our rail and shipping providers and customers to continue to lower transportation emissions. As a company, we have set ambitious climate goals and across our operations and supply chain, we are making significant progress to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Our dedicated decarbonization team is leading the evaluation of carbon reduction technologies, prioritizing projects with the largest impact and helping us build the roadmap to achieve our climate goals. This work will allow us to achieve our goal of net zero carbon emissions and continue to responsibly provide the metals and materials essential for the modern world and the global transition to a low carbon economy.